Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. We have returned to Spectre of Torment, the third Shovel Knight campaign. We're going to buy this other, the Cloak of Clemency, lose will in darkness instead of perishing in pits and spikes, drop less gold when you fall in battle. That sounds fantastic. That's cool. Cool. So we can really just kind of stay alive a lot easier. But you know what, though? I'm still going to change my outfit to, uh, let's do this one. Okay. It looks cool, and also you get like the supercharged shot. Gosh, that does look cool. Um, previously, we, uh, I don't know, what did we do? We beat Propeller Knight, we, uh, we got a couple of new curios. Oh, talk to Propeller Knight. Ho! Oh, with the juice selection here, oh. we'll be right at him and my neck, come on else. Ha! Wow! <laughs> Must that send for my private reserve? <laughs> that was really bad. It got really <laughs> bad real fast. Gall. Ah, oh, Spectre, I'm working on my technique for a killer to move. Brace yourself for the kiss of death. Wait, <laughs> what? Just a moment. What? Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> um, it didn't, didn't work. work. Oh, he died. <laughs> he died. <laughs> oh, we did it. <laughs> you imagine a kiss of death that you give that you die? How'd that... How could that come in handy? I can't think of a way. Yeah, we don't have enough money to charge. Whoa! Well, on to the next level! There's only I... one left! Uno mas, bro. It's snowy change time. to the floaty, because that one has saved my life many a time. Yeah, you like Well, that. then pop it out with it. Where shall I send you next? Did you like um, the beakers when we played Plague Knight? I always liked the beakers. Uh, cause that's, a, I think of it as like the same thing. Hey basement dwellers, if you're interested in Shovel Knight and all things Shovel Knight, you should check out our, uh, Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows playlist. We played through that whole game, recorded it all, it was a lot of fun. And, Our uh, co-op one turned out to be Shovel Knight quite funny. Yeah. Uh, that's the regular Shovel Knight campaign, Shovel of Hope, but with two players simultaneous. So I think I'm Shovel Knight and you're Custom Knight. Remember that? Yes. That was fun. I do remember that. Whoa! We're snowboarding. Yeah, you're scythe. You're snow scything. If I could just. Yeah, there we uh, go. I hate oh, these I love mages. this song. Okay. This was one of my favorite levels. Uh, well. Oh, that's not a hole. I can just skate. I was going to say, it's one of my favorite levels. Skate or die. Die, skate die, 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 die. You have ski or die in your little Nintendo box. I do. Over there. We own the ski or die. I've never die played NES ski cartridge. or die before. It's I've played not, skate or die. It's not good. Oh, I don't. I don't. Uh, not even skate or die. I don't die that for a second. Yeah, skate <laughs> or die was pretty dumb, too. It was awesome. Like, it was know. a cool idea. It was very radical, like. Rad radical, like 1989. Like, yeah. like I'm from the 80s. Everything's tubular. cool. I drink milk. It does the body good. Yeah, they they made a lot of video games about like surfing and skiing and skateboarding, um, like cool, like old kid sport, big kid sports. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, 14 year olds do that. Yeah, I remember being little and intimidated by big kids. Yes. Those Dude. I don't I don't miss those days too much. Look at you taking the easy way out. Oh, you got that yeah, was just lazy. It's lazy or smart? Lazy like they a look fox. A lot, they look a lot similar most days. <laughs> okay. You know, Ted, I once heard a wise man say it's important to learn how to weasel out of things. It's what separates us from the animal. The, the weasel? Uh, except the weasel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Simpsons quote. Yep. Guaranteed. Uh, let me see if I can guess who said it. Okay. Do you know? Yeah. Basement Dollars, if you know Comet Boy before Ted says it. Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I really want to just get it in one guess. Who would have said something like that? Weasel out of things. Oh, Homer. Yes. <laughs> it was Homer. I was like, who would have wanted to weasel out of something? Bart, Bart goes on a sugar high and uh, wakes up with a hangover the next day wearing a, um, uh, uh, it's like Boy Scouts, but they called it some, Junior Campers. Whoa! Yeah, he joins the Junior Campers. Come on, I'm fighting a m icy phoenix. I can't help you. He's got the rainbow barf, just like the... Um... Oh, speaking of rainbow barf. Oh, no. Well, no, there's a, there's a new drink out of Starbucks called the Unicorn. Oh, that looks terrible. And I've heard it's, like, all sugar. Yeah. And, like, very sour. 
Sour, really? Yeah, it's got like a soury berry kind of like flavory thing going on. I'm not a fan of like the like the slushies or slurpees or whatever that you can find at gas stations. You're dead, oh, son. God, man, I got killed by a phoenix bird. You had so much. But I will rise again from the ashes. <laughs> you had <laughs> you had so much will heading into that, and he just I so had so you. much to live for. Um. I'm just gonna kill him. With yeah, I'm not a big fan kindness. of like this super sweet like stuff, but if it's actually if it's really sour, now I'm kind of a little interested. I mean, I don't want to pay six fifty for one or whatever the heck they're getting. Yeah, there you go. Just just pound the crap out of him. Okay, I think I've got, I think I've got the pattern. I was also looking at my life and thinking it was his, so I was like, oh, I've almost got him. And then he killed me, and I was really confused. Yeah, that's the end boss. You just can't hit him in his breastbone. It's armor. Oh, got it. You kind of keep. You keep swiping at him. You there and it's not doing dirty good. rat! You are made of ice and a bird. But now, doggone it, I'm tempted to try that unicorn drink because if it is really sour, because. <laughs> oh! oh! Come on! Welcome back to professionalgamers.com. Yeah, uh, we do this for a living. We are professionally. Don't bad, try this at home. Bad at gaming.com. <laughs> there. Come here. Listen, you, That's didn't, right. you didn't come for a speed run. You came for the laughs and the mediocre gameplay that accompanies it. It's not funny if you just whip through the game lickety-split. In fact, Ted could. He's he's just making it funny on purpose. Isn't that right, Ted? Yeah. See, look it. I knew I could just do it like that, no problem. But what, where's the comedy? You know, it's all like com comedy comes in threes. Every liar has a place in the lake of fire. Yep. What? Because <laughs> you weren't doing that on purpose. You don't know that. You don't judge my motives. <laughs> you don't judge my heart. Touche. You're, you were right, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you could judge a fart, you could judge a heart. What? I, that's, not, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that fart stinks. Correct. Oh, man, your motives are impure. Co also correct. You don't know that. Equally as correct. Um, 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 what was I saying before I got sidetracked by all the shenanigans? Something about weasels? Uh, oh yeah! Uh, Bart joins the junior campers. I was right! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... He's like... Oh. You did not count the cost. I was not thinking! I was using my awesome Ninja Gaiden skills more than my brain. Ted, Ted sort of plays the way Mr. Miyagi karates. He doesn't consciously, like think about what he's doing. Mr. He just, Miyagi is he just a great reacts. strategist. Well, who am I thinking of that? He closes his eyes, though, doesn't he? To catch the fly with the chopstick? Mr. Miyagi never catches the fly with the chopstick. What am I thinking of? Who closes their eyes? Oh, oh, uh, Yoda. I was close. Yeah. Miyagi, Yoda, same thing. How do it, I... Okay, Curio. They, they both speak... A don't no, you can use your brain. Well, wait a minute though. I've gotta like activate one. Gra jump and grab the wall on the right, and then slash through slash left and up through that. Oh. There you go, and now slash. Okay, Peter, Oops, you were right. Okay. Brain. Yeah. Ooh, I got a willful wisp. Delicious. I love yummy green skulls. Now if you can hit that thing. And you could bounce up, but hmm. maybe that's and get that gem. But who cares? It's a gem. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, and so anyway, Bart says, "Listen, I had too much sugar last night. I was not in my right mind, and uh, I made my bed." And you expect him to say, and "Now I got to lie in it," <laughs> but he says, "I've made my bed, and now I got to weasel out of it." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and Marge says, "Uh-uh, you've joined. You're you're stuck. You got a whatever." And Homer says, "Don't discourage the boy. Learning how to weasel a lot of things is an important life skill. It's what separates us from the animals." The animals. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. Except the weasel, <laughs> and he kind of like looks up from his bite of cereal <laughs> as he realizes <laughs> it. <laughs> so great. Oh, so genius. Um, I was speaking of the Simpsons. I was uh, treated my kids to a. Oh, it changes the conveyor belts. Yeah. To an episode of Animaniacs before bed tonight. Uh-oh. And it was a Halloween special, and there was a Dracula character. And I said, I think 
That's Dan Castellaneta. And my kid's like, who? I said, Homer, the voice of Homer. And they're like, oh, really? They can do that? <laughs> they can do that? <laughs> Otherwise, it's just, you know, you're stuck. Um, and then I looked it up on IMDb. And you, you were right. Thank goodness for IMDb. I just was able to look up a episode of the Animaniacs for a guest vocalist. Right. A guest voice actor. And immediately found it. Dan Castellaneta. Boom sauce. Oh, man. What are you supposed to... How are you supposed you're to... supposed to not do what I did. Well, you can't climb up that thing? Well, okay. You're gonna hate me, but that's why they give you curios, okay? I don't hate. <laughs> okay, maybe. I think you gotta hit that. <laughs> no, I got an idea. Oh, no! No! Just using up your darkness. <laughs> Just take take the, Okay. It's Hit like it. it's superior in every way. Oh, that's not too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta just gone. I hate these things though. These like hammer axe throwing yeah. Mr. Tumnesses. They're not so Yeah, they are Mr. Tumnessy. Mr. Tumnus is a character in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by Clive Staples Lewis. Click on our uh, Amazon affiliate link. You mentioned... Did you, <laughs> were you just listening to that episode today? Because you said that exact thing. Maybe. We don't have an Amazon affiliate link. Yet. Um, we might by the time this episode comes out. Check below. Clive Staples Lewis... Who knows what we're selling today? <laughs> is more, more commonly known as C.S. Lewis. Just, just like the actor Mike Fox is more commonly known as Michael J. Fox. Oh, see, look, you counted the cost. I planned ahead. You stopped and considered. Uh, oh, uh, watch out, Tumnus. Um, pro tip, pro tip for you guys at home, if you're playing this game, any, any version of Shovel Knight, if you see a checkpoint on the screen, but there's kind of multiple things to do on the screen. Get the checkpoint. Yeah, just go straight to the checkpoint, because if you try to fiddle with something else and then you die, you'll you're gonna immediately feel be mad at yourself. I love this music. I thought I, I, I would just that. activate a lantern for no reason. <laughs> I, I think I said that right at that part of the music. Well, the last time I said it, I said it right at that part of the music. But that... It's just... Mm, makes me want to bust out the old Telecaster. And look at this, now it's just... As a lead line. Now it's just normal little platforming. Yep. With no weirdness at all. Yeah, that was cool. if only climbing a tree were something designed by Yacht Club Games, it would be easier, much easier to get down than it is to get up. You just killed that thing. Yeah, you did. Cool. Unfortunately, it's a lot like <clears throat> it's the other way around in real life. Climbing a tree is easy, and then you, you know what else it's there. like? What? Next time in the basement. Oh, dang snap! <clears throat> yeah, oh. basement dwellers. Thanks for hanging out with us through this uh, first half. Yeah, we had four so or a little bit realize first half minutes and of this of this level, man. This game is zooming by quick. We're coming close to the end. Make sure to stick around and subscribe if you haven't already. Tell a friend about the basement mm. like video. If you haven't already, click the notification bell to become part of the notification squad. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe we'll see you sometime soon in the very beginning of a video launch. And you can tell us all of your favorite things. We definitely try to hop in there as the comments are first starting to come in. So we can say hi to those, uh, those people especially. For sure. And until yeah. next time, basement dwellers, we think that you are more nostalgic than your grandma's underwear <laughs> in the basement why are, <laughs> why are her underwear down here <laughs>